Okay, now, ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the YouTube channel. How are we all doing today? Oh boy, it has been a wet, wet time lately. In fact, it's going to be wet later, so I thought <laughs> I'd sneak a little cheeky motor vlog in before the weather turns for the worst. Uh, I was pissing down, I went to work this morning, and then I had a nap, and here we are. So we're meant to have a little bit of sunshine, but just a little wee bit longer. So I thought I'd capitalise on this time and get the, get the work done, you know what I'm saying? Ah! What's been happening? How have we all been? Cheeky cheeky excitements. Now I made a video on it already, but fucking thank you all so much, man. We hit a million views total on the channel. Now look in the grand scheme of things, that's not very much, but that's a lot for one man like me. A million views, man. And 150,000 have been from one of my shorts, basically. How crazy is that? On a small channel like mine. Oh, so I'm so happy. I'm so thankful, guys. We're going to sneak in here. <laughs> And, uh, yeah, how exciting. Big things on the horizon. And, uh, man, shit, I've just been, just been gassed, basically. Or oh, can I fit through this? I don't know if I can. Oh, we're gonna fucking push it, though. We're gonna sneak in here, too. Oh, I love bikes. <laughs> yeah. Thought I'd do a cheeky loop. Get on the freeway on the way back and get it all, get it all in there, you know? But this set of lights has taken its fucking sweet time, I'll tell you that much. That set of lights took a little hot minute for us to get through, but here we are. Oh, hello there. Cheeky, cheeky. They like to sneak in like that, they do. But, oh, man, it's a, it's a good time. Very exciting. Achievements are being made and memories are being created. But I thought I'd hop on the bike and just have a good old gas bag. See what's get crack lacking, you know. But, uh, man, it's been happening again, kids. I got obsessed with another bike lately. And all my mates are telling me it's a terrible idea to get interested in this one, and I don't know why. Like, I get the argument, alright? Don't get me wrong, it's a sound argument, but at the same time, ugh, it's an argument based in illegality. And if you're wondering why I say that, it's because I've been obsessed lately with... A beautiful uh, cross-plane crank, 275-degree motorbike. It's a twin-parallel sport bike. It's too expensive, because it's 23 grand, I think it is. It's an Aprilia RS660, but the full power one, okay? 100 horsepower to the crank, about 90-ish to the wheels. Good top speed, same top speed as the MT-09, basically. It's just a little bit slower, and I mean by 0.7 of a kilometre top speed slower. It's ridiculously, like, negligible. But, oh man, I love how they look at that acid gold, it's fucking sexy, they're gorgeous looking bikes, they sound fantastic, yeah, especially in person, because I've seen a few of the bike shows, but every one of the boys is telling me that, no Nathan, you shouldn't buy that one, you should just buy an RSV4, and now look, there's two arguments I could make against that, and that's the fact that an RSV4 it's thirty-two thousand dollars, or it's or it's basically forty grand for the RC4 factory, which is the good one. Let's be honest. Um, it's and the second one is it's way too fucking fast. All right, what is it? Two hundred and fifteen horsepower. Now this bike is forty-six point seven, I think it is. All right, that's a bit of a step up, <laughs> tremendous step up, if you would. Um, and I know if I have a bike like that, I'm just going to abuse it everywhere I ride it, which is fine, but it's, every, it's the other factors of life I worry about. So life comes at you a lot faster at 300 kilometers an hour, as opposed to 200-ish, 250 of the RS660. And if you want to hit the RS660 at the top speed, it's a, lot, it's a lot slower to get there. Man, shit, someone died over here a few weeks ago. It's crazy. They, like, crashed into one of these trees. It's fucked. But, um, so the RS660 is, you know, acceptable acceptable power 100 100 horsepower it's not nothing it's nothing crazy okay it's a decent amount it's a very peppy bike it's got plenty of torque with because of the twin it's not a normal 600 which is you know littered with um torque problems because you've got to fucking get in now look not saying 600 cc bike is slow i just know that they're really really fucking diluted in the uh, the power band when it gets to a certain point um, so you got to sort of fang it to get anything out of it, whereas the 660, it's just, it's like this bike, but faster. It's like an MT-07, but better. You know what I mean? I'll tell you, an MT-07's bad, I reckon they're sick bikes. Not my favourite lookers, but the RS660 definitely looks a lot better. But, um, 
man, why is life so expensive? Because <laughs> if I can afford the RS660, man, I would have one already and I would just de-restrict it immediately. Because <laughs> fuck, they're epic. This is the downside, as my girlfriend says. My whole brand so far has been the fact I have the Rebel 500. But man, I don't want that to be my forever look. I like the Rebel. I love the Rebel. But it's, you know, it's it's a beginner bike and it's got to accept that. I would love a Rebel 1100. That Africa twin engine's pretty fucking sexy. But, uh, but um, oh, man, I can't afford to have the Africa twin. When I, I want to go fast. And I want a bike that can lean. You know? You know what I mean? So... I've been really stuck in a bit of inner turmoil again, like I always have been. Now, I thought I'd be decided on the S1000RR, right, because I love that bike, but same principle. Inline 4, screaming engine, they're good, but I like, I like the V4 sound, and I like the twin sound. It's just how I am. Now, my twin's a pretty basic twin, was it, 180 degree crank, so it doesn't have that, you know, it's just, as you can hear, it's just lawnmower-esque. For some reason, it's less boring than the R was it the Vulcan is, even though they're fucking. I think they're the same crank. So, someone explain that one to me. But um, oh man, they're nice bikes. RS660, very sexy, very very nice. You know, and that's sort of another reason as to why I'd probably love the RS660 over the RS34. Now look. If I had the choice, I would take the RSV4 any day of the week, and I want everybody in this video to know, no, that's the, the case, all right? It's not that I don't want one. I love it. It's expensive. That's the problem. I can't afford it yet. But an RS660 is a bike you can ring out in the public region, like on the roads, like this, and you're not going to be excessively breaking the law, whereas an, an RSV4, if you hit the red limiter, you're going to be breaking every single speed law in the country, except for the one speedless road in, you know, the NT. So on that note, she's a little bit hard to tame in the public sector. Now, I've had this argument, because I decided to go on the old uh, interwebs and have a look around and see what both the average, you know, Joe thinks about it. And they always go, it's akin to taming a, um, a tiger when you have a fucking, ugh, jumper of mine's annoying the shit out of me. When you have a leader bike versus a smaller bike where you have a normal bike it's like taking your cat for a walk all right it's fun it's people still look at you but when you take out your leader bike it's like taming a fucking beast and everyone's like holy shit that man can keep the thing under control now i don't care what the the, the public the, uh, the public opinion is all right i don't care what you think about my bikes that's why i bought a rebel when i worked in a place that everybody hated cruisers i was like fuck you i like them <laughs> all right my opinion means nothing and every day I copped it for being gay or wanting to go perform at the Mardi Gras. And I was like, Jesus Christ, mate, it's a two-wheeled device. We like two-wheel bikes here. One of them was a bit more relaxed. He was a sick gun. He goes, oh, look, you'll learn eventually <laughs> as to why you probably don't want to cruise. And look, he was correct. <laughs> I like them still. If I had the money, I would obviously have two cru like cruisers and a sport bike. Because the cruisers are just great at what they do, which is, well, believe it or not, cruising. <laughs> so, take the cruiser cruising, and, um, well, let's just, man, send it down the ways on the cruiser cruisies. What is this road here? Huntingdale Road. No, we don't want to go there. <laughs> so, that's my dilemma right now. I'm just cruising about, trying to figure out what motorbike I want to buy in the future. You know, it's just... It's rough out here. It's not easy to pick these things. But, um, man, I'm happy as long as I'm on two wheels, let's be honest. Look at that beautiful, you know, sky. It might be cloudy, but it's always gorgeous. Oh, man, shit. I am the world's most indecisive boy when it comes to motorbikes, and I know that, okay? I know it. It's just that it's hard when you, when you like a lot of things, it's hard to narrow it down to which one you want ultimately, like... I'd love an R1, I'd love an RSV4, I'd love an S1000. In fact, the only bike I probably wouldn't go out and buy is a Ducati, just because they do not interest me at all. I know they're fast. I know they're capable. I'm not a big fan of the looks of the Ducatis, I'm going to be honest with you. I love the tail ends, they're sexy, but the front end's not my style as much. But the RS660, oh, it's a gorgeous bike, in my opinion. RSV4, same deal, that whitish colour it comes in, oh... It's a sex machine. <laughs> but, 
it's a it's a problem that I can't figure out what I want. So, if any of you guys know, let me know down below if you have any um, opinions on the matter. If you've ever ridden an RS660, or you live in Melbourne and you want to give your brother a crack at an RS660, that'd be fucking kind of cool. <laughs> but uh, if you don't, well, it is what it is. I guess I'll figure it out in the meantime. But until that day comes along, I hope you've all enjoyed this vlog so far. I'm going to try and maybe I'll do another one on the way back. But just to do something, I hope you've enjoyed this little stay. So take it easy, keep it cheesy, and as always, peace. Have a good day, boys and girls. Bye.